You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Osborne and Brooks versus Osborne and Patton. Thank you, Ron. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Osborne, you have brought your mother to court because you claim she lied to you about the identity of your biological father. You are here to prove Billy Jack Fitzmorris is your dad. You and your aunt petitioned the court for paternity tests to finally prove the truth. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Osborne, you admit your daughter believed that Mr. Fitzmorris was her dad, but now stand in court to prove that another man is her biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Osborne, how do we get to this point that you have to bring your mother to court? Well, I've always grew up thinking that Billy was my father and that I resembled him. And I even moved in with my dad's side of the family. And then all of a sudden, when I was about 12, I got told otherwise. What happened when you were 12? We were just sitting watching TV, and all of a sudden, she looks at me, she says, you know, there's a possibility that another man could be your father. And what was your reaction? At the moment, I didn't know what to do. I kind of just left the room and went and called my aunt. And your aunt, Ms. Brooks? Yes. Ms. Brooks, do you remember that call? Yes, I do. What happened? Um, San Savannah was very upset because she thought that um, Billy, my brother, was not her father. And I assured her that I believe 100% that Billy is her father. You've never had a doubt? I've never had a doubt. So until you were 12 years old, Ms. Osborne, you were told this was your father? Yes, You even live with his family? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Osborne, when your daughter was 12, you told her that someone else could be her biological father? Yes, I told her that another guy could be her father, but I never told her that Billy Jack was her father. How did she think he was? Because um, his family put in her head that he was her father, and um, I just kind of went with it. That's... Wait a minute. So, for 12 years, who were you saying was her biological father? I didn't say who was her father. But she's living with his family. Um, yes, and at the time, um, her, his family took her in. I was young, and I knew that they would have a good life for her. And they stepped up and asked to take her, and I knew that they could provide a better life for her at that time because I was young and naive and stupid. So I let them take and raise her. I've, I've been in her life, and I've done things for her, and, and I'm here today just to put things at rest. So she'll know who her biological father really is. And I believe it's the other guy. Tell me about the relationship with the other guy. Why do you think it's his? Um, because I was back and forth between the two. And uh, I was with the other guy a lot more than I was with Billy Jack. During the window of conception, you were sleeping with both men? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. But I, I, I just feel in my heart that the other guy is her father. So both can potentially be her biological father. You understand that, right, Ms. Osborne Savannah? Yes. And I see you can't even look at your mother right now. You're not even turning your head. Because I just want to know the truth of who my father is. It's, I shouldn't have to wait until I was 12 years old to figure this out. I should have known that there was not a possibility before I grew attached to my father and grew bond with my whole family. Your mom kind of dropped a bomb on you at 12 years old. Wow, I mean, when you hear that, and you had to live with this now for eight years. You're 20 now. Eight years now. This must hurt you very much. Yes, it does. Because this is your mother, and you're relying on your mother to tell you the truth. Yes, I would always expect her to. So, Savannah, when you hear your mother speak, and she says that she just allowed them to believe what they wanted to believe because she wanted to make sure you were safe. Bye. I know it's hard for you, but look at your mother and just tell her what that feels like. It, it really feels horrible to not know who my real father is. And after growing all these years to believe somebody else was my father and it, it couldn't be. I am sorry, Savannah. You was young. When you was 12, I figured that you was old enough to be able to handle it. When you was young, you wouldn't have been able to handle it as well at nine or 10 as you would at 12 and 13. So I waited to help you because I didn't know if you would, how you would react being so young and me telling you that, if it would confuse you more. But tell her, Savannah, at 12, how, how that made you feel. 
I was confused. I was 12 years old. I was raised around my dad's family for 12 years. And then all of a sudden, they could be just some strangers that I'm living with. They That's, will never be strangers. Of course they won't. They'll always be my family now. But what if they never were? I'm sorry. I truly am. But I'm here today to try to make it right for you. So you will know 100% if he's your father or if the other guy's your father. I was young and I was stupid. And I just wanted the best for you. And so, yes, I swallowed my pride and I did let them take you in because I knew that they could provide a better life for you than what I could at that age. I wasn't ready. I'm sorry that I've put you through hurt because I've never wanted to hurt you, ever. Sorry. Because eight years later, I still have to yeah. wonder. But at the end of the day, it must hurt that you had to drag your mother to court today. Yes, it really does, but I, I need to know the truth. I was brought up on a lie. I have to know. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Miss Brooks, I see this. You have tears in your eyes as um, you stand next to because the young woman you believe is your niece. Yes, Savannah is my niece, and I love her dearly. And we were always told from day one from Donna that Savannah was our... Our, I call her our baby, but our niece. The way we met Donna was under difficult circumstances. Um, my brother, he had a, a wild life. He liked fast cars, fast women, fast money. You know, anything to do with that kind of behavior, that's what he liked. So when he brought Donna home, we were a little shocked because at the time she was working as a stripper and we didn't know, you know, what to believe, but we believed my brother and um, Donna both when they said that, they, that Billy was her biological father, that she was pregnant with Savannah and that was our family. But you don't remember telling them any of this, Miss Osborne? No, Your Honor. Billy Jack is the one that took it upon himself to assume that Savannah was his when I told him I was pregnant. I had told both men that I was pregnant and they took it upon theirself to believe if they was the father or not. That's I have not true. That's not true. You it is true. She told me as well that Savannah was my brother's daughter. Those words never came out of my mouth. Yes, they did. Okay. If you didn't think he was the father of her, why did we raise her? Why did because our family step in and raise her? at that point in time, you know that I was unstable and you guys were a great family. And I knew that you would t love and take care of Savannah the way she needed to be taken care of. And I couldn't provide that for her at that point in time. I was young and stupid. And, you know, I, I regret a lot of things that I did in, in life, but, you know, I've grown since then. And I'm trying to be there for my kids now even because I want her to know if, in fact, your brother is her father or if the other guy is her father. Have you ever gotten to know this other man that your mom says could potentially be your biological father? I have met him. I am, do not have a connection with him whatsoever. He is the father of my sister and my brothers. But I wouldn't want that to be my father. I want Billy to be my father because that's who I have always known to be my father. And it's gonna really hurt if it's otherwise. So your sister, you say it was fathered by the other man. That's what I was told, but I okay. also believe that my dad is her dad because we, we share way too many similarities. You know what? She's here, so I'd like to hear from her. Ron, can you please escort her in? Yes, ma'am. We're going to go up to the witness stand right next to the judge. Ms. Patton, thank you for joining us. There's actually been testimony that contradicts what I believe you were told. Who do you believe is your father? I believe that the other guy is my father because, I mean, I've never met Billy Jack. I've never even seen him. I've just heard stories of his crimes and crazy lifestyle. I have a connection, a relationship with my father or the other guy. And you his, do? And his family, yeah. Who do you believe Savannah's biological father is? I'm not sure. <laughs> 
I, I grew up believing that Billy Jack was her dad, the same as her. So growing up, you just felt like I have a sister, but we have two different fathers. Yeah. I also believe Billy could be her father. Oh, really? Yes. Why? Because at the time that Donna conceived Miss Patton, uh, she was also with my brother, back and forth between my brother and the other man. And I see similarities between Mrs. Patton and this is his other daughter here, Marissa, and Savannah. Miss Osborne, your daughter, Miss Patton, testified that she believed this other guy was her father her whole life. Yes. Do you believe there's potential that Billy Jack could be her biological father as well? Um, I mean, I was back and forth between the two at that, at that stage of my life, um, but I don't believe that Billy's her father. I believe Why? that the other guy is. Why? The same reason I believe that he is Savannah's father, um, because they, they look a lot like the other guy. But you admit that you were intimate with Billy both during yes. the window of her conception as well. Yes, yes, Your Honor. This is very interesting. I mean, because as this young girl, you were just in a place in your life where you weren't making great decisions. No, I wasn't, Your Honor. And you have these beautiful girls and you have to find families for them pretty much. Yes, and I was, um, I was in a very a bad relationship at that point in time. And when she was born and I, and I knew she'd be better off with my family, and I've been there, in their lives, um, all of their lives. I've never walked out on them or abandoned them, but my family did, in fact, raise them with me, and I'm thankful every day for my family and, and Mrs. Brooks' family for doing such a great job with my children, what I couldn't provide for them then. So you never told Jasmine that Billy Jack could potentially be her father, ever, never no. mentioned it? No. But why is it at 12 then you felt like you should tell Savannah? Because Savannah believed more that Billy Jack was her father than... He is her father. ...than Jasmine. And uh, I just didn't want her to end up finding out he wasn't and being mad at me for not at least giving her the opportunity to know who her real biological father is. What do you want to get out of today's results besides just of course, finding out the truth. I don't want to, her to have to lie to me anymore. And I want to have a better bond with my mom. But until I know the truth, I don't think that's going to happen. And I also would say, like to say, this is dividing our family. So we need to know the truth. And you know, Jasmine could also be my brother's child. Well, it seems like the stakes are very high. We've got a mother-daughter relationship on the line in addition to a father-daughter and the family that raised her. Yes. I have the results for you. I think it's time. We have two results. The results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics. The first is for Jasmine. Jasmine, are you ready? As ready as I can get. <laughs> because the DNA of Mr. Billy Jack Fitzmorris was unavailable to test for biological relatedness, an avuncular test with the closest biological relative, his sister, Anastasia Stacy Brooks, was performed. With that being said, the results determine if there is a viable relationship between Jasmine Patton and Anastasia Stacy Brooks. In the case of Osborne Brooks versus Osborne Patton, when it comes to 19-year-old Jasmine Patton. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. It has been determined by this court, Ms. Brooks and Jasmine are not related. <sighs> Ms. Osborne, you look relieved. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm relieved because Jasmine's had a relationship with the other guy and his family, and I didn't want that to change. And uh, I'm, I'm really kind of hoping Savannah is Billy's because I, it scares me that maybe 
the relationship between them a change if she's not. You're hoping he is, but you don't believe he is. Right. Are you ready, Savannah? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Jess is in the case with your sister, Jasmine. The results determine if there is a viable relationship between Savannah Osborne and Anastasia Stacy Brooks. When it comes to 20-year-old Savannah Osborne, it has been determined by this court, Ms. Brooks and Savannah are related. <laughs> I love you, Savannah, so much. And I'm so happy that it came out the way you wanted it. And I love you, Jasmine. I love you, too. I love you, too. <laughs> you know, Miss Brooks, I commend your family for taking this beautiful girl in at a time when her mother admittedly just could not provide a safe, healthy environment for her. She did the right thing. And Savannah, I know those are issues that you still have to process. No mother wants to admit that she had to give her children to other family members because she could not give them a safe home. So I would just say to you, maybe take a minute to work on that relationship with your mother. Yes, we have can. counseling and resources for you all. Please take advantage of them. Good luck to you. Thank Court you. is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.